All right, to reach the first location, we are going to start from the giant coral tube that sticks up out of the water right here. And from here, we are going to head about two and a half notches to the right of northeast until we reach the bulb zone. By going here, all you're going to want to bring is a prawn suit with a drill arm. And aside from that, you're also going to want to bring a sea glide, a knife, and a stasis rifle because there are a few hostile creatures here that you're going to be worrying about. So there are four hostile creatures here overall. So first we got ampules. Ampules are like giant electric eels basically. So as long as you stay far away from them, don't shine any lights on them, then you'll be okay. And if they do start to come after you, then you can hit them with a stasis rifle and give yourself time to run away. The other threat we have here are bone shark. Bone sharks are a little more aggressive than ampules, so they will kind of come after you like if you if they see you honestly. So don't shine any lights on them because that'll draw their attention almost instantly as well the best thing you can do is hit them with the stasis rifle and run away the other threat you'll have here are warpers which can teleport you out of your prawn suit so the best thing you can do against them is you can either attack them with your knife until they tell you can have damage to walk away or you can just use a sea glide to run away if they do teleport you and then the last thing are like super tiny aggressive fish called mesmers and they they can't really they can't do anything if you're in a vehicle but if you get out of your vehicle and they go near you, then they can sort of like mind control you. But all you have to do is look in a different direction and start moving to break free of them. And they also die pretty easily with a few swipes of the knife. Oh, this man fell right there. But we are now in the evolve zoom. And we can look for titanium deposits. We got one deposit so far, right here. We got another deposit right here. And each of these deposits can give you anywhere from eight to 16 pieces of titanium. And there's a third deposit right there. And there is our fourth titanium deposit right here. Now I'm sure there's probably more out there, but I just wanted to show just, just four so we can get to the next spot. All right, and to reach the next location, we are going to start from the giant floor to six of out of the water again. And from here, we are going to head about two notches to the left of Southwest until we reach a large hole in the Grand Reef. By going here, you're going to want to bring the same stuff as you did last time, so just your prawn suit with a drill arm, and maybe a grappling arm as well, because you are going to be going a little bit deeper, so you're going to want to be able to get out pretty easily. So prawn suit with a drill arm and grapple arm, a sea glide, a knife, and a stasis rifle. Now the two main threats you're going to run into here are warpers, which we ran into at the last spot. They're exactly the same here. They can just teleport you out of your prawn suit or while you're swimming around. So if they do, attack them with a knife till they take enough damage to warp away, or you can just run away from them on your sea glide. The other threat, a little newer, that you're going to run into here are crab squids, which can let off like this big old EMP attack that'll disable your vehicle if you get hit by it. And they can do some pretty pretty good damage. Since you're gonna be in your prawn suit, what I would do is if you get if your vehicle gets disabled, I would get out immediately and then hit the crab squid with a stasis rifle. So you can freeze them, give your vehicle enough time to like turn back on and then give yourself enough time to run away. Ready, this is the giant hole I was talking about, right here. So once you reach this giant hole, you're just gonna go, blah, 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 can't talk. You're just gonna want to head like straight down into the hole. And you're gonna be into, you're gonna be in the deep grand reef. I keep stumbling over my words, I'm so sorry. All right, once we are in the deep grand reef, we can just start looking for titanium deposits around on the sea floor. It is gonna be a little bit harder to find. Okay, never mind. There's one right here. It may be a little bit harder to find them in here though because there's a lot of rocks and stuff in the way. Alright, so we have a second deposit right here. So that makes two deposits so far. It did take me a little bit longer to- Okay, no, never mind. Okay, there's a third deposit right here. Okay, and there's our fourth deposit right here. So we found four so far in this one little spot. I am not going to check the rest of the area though because I keep getting teleported and it's really annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here and let's go to the next spot. All right, and to reach the very last spot, we're going to start from the giant crow tube that sticks up out of the water one last time. And from here, we are going to head east until we reach the crash zone, which is right in front of the aurora. And going here, you're gonna to wanna to bring your prawn suit with this drill arm again. And you're also gonna to wanna to 100% bring a stasis rifle and a sea glide. Now, the only threat that you'll run into in the crash zone I'm not counting the sand sharks because they're in so insignificant that they are not even considered a threat. So the only threat that, you run, that you'll run into in the crash zone are Reaper Leviathans, again. So the best thing you can do against them is to hit them with your stasis rifle and give yourself time to run away because you don't have perimeter defense that you're going to be using your prawn suit. And yeah. 
All right, now once the water starts to turn into this like brownish color, you're gonna be in the crash zone. And once you're in the crash zone, you can start looking for a titanium deposit. And there's one right there. Okay, got one right there, and there's also another one right there. Got two deposits so far. The other good thing about the crash zone is that it's the biome with probably the most metal salvage, and each each metal salvage will give you four titanium each, and there's a whole bunch of them here. So if you have a bunch of storage modules or something on your pot suit, when you come over here, you can also pick up these metal salvages to get some more titanium on the side. Okay, and there's a third deposit right here, and there's a fourth deposit right here. I did have to go sort of like go towards the front of the Aurora, so I'm kind of like hanging off the side right here. But yeah, there's our fourth deposit right here. So yeah, that is all I have for y'all, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.